This video is brought to you by the Umbrella Academy, the board game. Back it now on GameFound. Kia ora koto and welcome to Santa Monica in about three minutes. It has no solo mode. It's a game for two to four players, playing time is short, and it's a pretty simple game. You are trying to build the most pleasant beachfront in Southern California. Can you build attractions on the boardwalk, utilize the beachfront, and keep all those tourists and locals happy and entertained? The game ends once one player has placed their 14th card. Finish the round off, move some meeples, and then score. The winner is the player with the most points, and you get these from the objective card, moving meeples, placing cards, and money. Drafting. Each turn you will draft at least one card from the display. Tile placement. Cards are then placed onto your player board. Set collection. Many scoring opportunities are based off collecting cards with the same icons. Player turn. Choose one of the three objective cards to play with in the game. Put the others away. Then grab the four double-sided power tiles. Randomly pick two to play with. Each player gets one of the six starting buildings and each has starting resources and a scoring power. On your turn, you will draft one card. Normally this must be from the front four cards only. Take the card, slide the top one down and replace it. Alternatively, you can spend beach money coins to use the powers on one of the tiles. Here we pay four coins and take two cards, replacing both of them. Once you have a card, it must go on your board. Boardwalk cards go at the bottom and must connect to an existing card. And you can build on either side of your starting building. This card has three blue meeples marked on it, so place them on the card. Beach cards are placed in the top row and can be placed on either side. Let's look at some scoring. This building scores two points if any cards adjacent have blue icons. Both the beach and our start building have those icons, so this building will score two points. We place this building next. It needs a pink icon adjacent to score and currently does not have that. Another way of scoring points are buildings like this, with the chain symbol. This one wants four blue icons connected to score four points. We currently have five. This also works towards the middle public goal of scoring one point for our largest set. Now the bottom goal here punishes us for not placing meeples. Let's look at that. Cards and abilities with the meeple move symbol on them allow us to move them the space is shown. This one lets us move two meeples one space. Areas with a dotted circle on them are activities. Once a meeple moves into one of these activities, it can score points. This one holds three and scores four points. You can also move your VIP meeples leaving behind footprints. Each of these is worth points based on your starting board. One final note, when drafting there are the pink foodie meeple and food truck. If you pick a card with the foodie, gain one coin and then move it right. The food truck lets you move one meeple, one space. If the two tokens meet, you can do either action twice or both once. Reset them afterwards. Why would you like this game? Santa Monica is a quite simple drafting game with a pleasant presentation that will make it easy to get to the table. But once it's there though, you'll find it's a wily little beast of a game that will have you constantly lamenting your inability to get the cards you want and pondering deeply how to make the best out of a bad situation. The big decision points will be when to take cards that might break combos and change, just because you need the movement or coins a lot more at that time. All up, this is a nice looking game that has pretty broad appeal, doesn't take too much time, and is pretty thinky. Oh, the best thing about this game is finally getting all those tourists into activities. It's oddly satisfying. However, this is a full-blown point salad game and just about every placement can generate points in some way. If the idea of keeping about eight different scoring options in your head at once is making you wince, pass on this. And due to the draft system, sometimes there just isn't a good move. You just have to live with that. For a similar game in a smaller box, try Streets. And for something more complex, try Suburbia. Santa Monica. And now I have Everclear stuck in my head. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.